All right, guys, come on in. I'm gonna try this one more time, this videotaping thing. It's uh, definitely not working. The pores haven't been working and the taping hasn't been working and it's just not working. So here we go. Welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. Acrylic pouring with Cindy Vanderveen. That's me, that's me. So I have a confession to make you guys. I'm an addict. I am an absolute addict, a paint addict, not drugs, not alcohol, not shopping, paint. It's terrible. I get up in the morning, I go to bed at night, I start thinking about paint and colors. I get up in the morning, the first thing I do before the kettle's even popped is I start mixing paint up on my days off. And I think, you're just a looney tune. You are a looney tune. I'm supposed to be going up island with my mom today. This is our... This is our Malahat Skywalk. And so my mom is coming in from her house about 8 39 o'clock. So I get up this morning. Golden ochre, my friends. I get up this morning, and the first thing I think about is oh, I should just, I got time to paint, maybe just a painting or two. And I think, well, usually when that happens, Caramel Drizzle by TLP. Normally when that happens, I screw up and I think, oh, I got all this time. And the next thing you know, I'm in a flap and I go wherever I'm going, looking like I've been shot through a cannon because I haven't put any effort into getting ready to go. So this morning, I decided that I was going to do my hair and my makeup, but I could still put on my plate clothes and do some painting. So here I am in the kitchen. My hair is done. My makeup is on. And I'm in my painting clothes. My mother's coming in less than an hour and again other than good looking hair and lashes, I am not ready to go. And here I am painting. So I am an addict. Confessions of an addict. So that was Caramel Drizzle, Golden Ochre by Amsterdam, or by TLP. This one is a dry pigment powder that I've had sitting around for a really, really long time. And I just kind of found it again the other day. And it's hard to see on camera it's going to look just dark but it's actually this gorgeous kind of a a really rich amethyst color like a smoky amethyst all right we need a bit of color in this like real color let's add pink why not pink i know you guys are all saying pink what is wrong with that woman yep let's do it let's add pink and then I'm gonna put a little bit more of this amethyst color and a little bit more gold. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this color choice. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna swipe in both black and white. We're gonna start in black. There's one. And we're going to come back into this in white. Way too much paint going on in the center for me already. You can already tell. Just do that and see what happens. I'm excited about my uh, my skywalk today. My mom asked me on the phone last night if we were going to do the slide, and to get off of the skywalk, it's it's. If you haven't watched my video before when I was nattering on about this, it's this absolutely gorgeous architecturally designed skywalk in the middle of the canopy and the trees. And it goes up to a 360 degree lookout all over the bay and the peninsula. And then to get down, you have your choice. You can either walk down the stairs. Well, it's not stairs. I think it's just a sort of a gradual incline walkway. Or you can take this seven second speed race to the bottom via a slide and guess which one we are going to do we're doing the slide i can hardly wait so my mother last night at 81 years old asks me if we're doing the slide and it's like well of course we're doing the slide 
<laughs> I thought, there we are. Me at 60, my mom at 80, and yep, we're going to be giant children today. We're going to do the aerial tree walk. We're going to do the slide down, have a coffee, and then we're going to thrift store our way up to Duncan to my one of my favorite little restaurants in Genoa Bay, the Genoa Bay Cafe, and have a burger for lunch. Fish burger, probably. But for now, we're just going to tip and tilt this out, and then I'm going to go and get dressed so that I'm not going in paint clothes. Yesterday, I was a really good, well, all weekend I've been good, you guys. I had said to my daughter, I gotta get some of these pieces finished because like most of us, I would way rather paint new than finish, finish, not old, but finish pieces that I've done. It's, it's much more fun to do this than to finish, but I can't sell what's not ready to hang on a wall. So my mission for the last few days was to do exactly that, was to get some pieces finished, which I did. I spent a few days resining and I put hanging hardware on everything yesterday. So on my tiles, I've decided now for something different that I didn't frame them. I resined them and I actually painted out the edges of them, gave them all a good sand so that all the paint drips are off, gave them a good sand, painted them, and I put a D-ring hanger on the back, which is what I normally do with tiles. And then I covered everything with nice gray felt and I left them as is. And so they're just this really nice, clean piece on the wall. So yesterday I took them into the restaurant about noon and it was really, really busy. And I don't like to disrupt people's lunches and interrupt the owner who's very kind to take my pieces. So I thought, well, I'll just come back. So I came back about three and he was no longer busy but he was cooking for the guys for the skip the dishes so he just basically kind of waved at me and said do what I want so it's like are, are you sure <laughs> no maybe don't want me loose in your restaurant and he said no go for it so I said well can I move things and he said absolutely move whatever you want I thought, all right aren't you just a sweetheart so I took down a bunch of my pieces that he had hung in dumb places and I created kind of a cluster wall of my work and I removed another artist's paintings and put her things together in a cluster wall. And I think that she will probably not be offended because she will definitely sell more pieces the way I have it set up. It's quite nice. And yeah, it was good. It was all good. And I am busy talking through this whole piece. And so I'm going to stop here and I'm gonna go get ready. And I think that that worked out pretty well. So I'll bring you guys down and take a look. I know my pink was a bit of a, a bit of a strange color to add with these gorgeous ochres and things like that. But I think all in all, it worked out really well. Couple little freckles. Um, I will put my description of all my paints and mixes in the description box. I have changed things a tiny wee bit, not much. Um, I did go back to Beauty Tone Paint though. So my base coat is Beauty Tone Paint in eggshell right out of the can. I've done nothing to it. Nothing to it. All right, my friends, I'm going to bring you down for close up. Yeah, there we go. So that's pretty cool, I think. Pretty nice lacing and some groovy little cells going on there. I am happy with the colors. They're clean and crisp and the lines are pretty tight, which is what I like. All right, my friends, I'm off to throw some clothes on and go and walk the aerial walk. Slide to the bottom, take lots of pictures along the way. All right, my friends, you guys have a lovely Monday. I'll talk to you really, really soon. Bye for now, guys.